everybody, this is Marcelle, and thank you for watching. And for those who are new, welcome to the process. Welcome. This is my lovely husband. Welcome. Sexy husband. Welcome. Vito. We welcome you. We welcome you to the process. Y'all should be used to this by now. For those who know us, welcome, 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 welcome. For those who are new, you doing? will learn us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're silly. I'm not digging in my nose. <laughs> my nose is just itching. Okay. All right, you guys. This is a partial process life letter, and I say partial because this was actually a comment that came through mm. that we would like to, um, you know, address. In regards to the comments. I want to so hear his answer. Everyone, me too. <laughs> everyone can see the comments. So technically it's not anonymous. Like right. the process life would normally be. Mm -hmm. So we chose this one because we thought it was kind of hey, interesting. So if you have not heard yes. this wonderful comment. Yes. It was on our video called Should Women Pursue Men? Uh -huh. Read. What is it? Pursue or not to pursue? Yes. That's the question. So if you haven't seen that video, please check that video out. Because uh -huh. um, that's where this particular comment stemmed from. And I'm going to go ahead and read the comment. Read. Can you make a video uh -huh. on positioning yourself yes. to be found by your spouse? Oh, this is going to be a good one. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. We shall be back. Hopefully. All right, you guys, we are back. Yeah. And um, this is funny because we actually talked about this particular question it came in our live video stream in our um, private Facebook page singles mm -hmm. waiting God's way on Facebook so if you have not joined please do so because we talk about a lot of these things in detail the Facebook live yeah that was like an hour long yeah so um, yeah so anyway mm -hmm. let's get to this question babe can can you make a video on positioning yourself to be found sure we can. by your We don't make a video. Spouse. We made a video and have a good day. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys. In regards to positioning yourself mm -hmm. to be found by your spouse. Come on, baby. In my again, my story, my my Is it is it your testimony, baby? My testimony. Uh -huh. I have learned. Yeah. You cannot mm, why not? position yourself for your spouse. However, mm. it depends mm. on what type of spouse you're talking about. Come on now. If you want to position yourself for a spouse that the world has for you, yes. that the enemy has for you, if you want to position yourself for counterfeit spouses, yes, put do, yourself right there. Do, do what you want to do. Do it. Be where you want to be. Uh -huh. Put go the tight jeans on, girl. <laughs> Show all you your stuff. Go. Show everything, <laughs> huh? Don't, don't don't consult God. Don't do That's any right. of that. So yeah. you can. So technically, you can position yourself mm -hmm. for a spouse yes, if that's can. what you want. Mm -hmm. If a spouse is what you want, you can position yourself you can. for a spouse. People do it all the time. All the time, I did. From all a male perspective, and I he did. was in it for fourteen years. I was in it for fourteen years. Oh. He positioned himself, and he got himself a spouse. I was in the penitentiary. However. And she was too. Can, can I clear this up? Can I clear this up? She was in hell too now. Okay. Ooh. My ex, I mean, when I was married. It wasn't just me. She was in hell too. Well, yeah, both of you. You know, both of us because it wasn't, it wasn't connected, right? So, if she married you, of course. Exactly. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> Lord Jesus. You can't Jesus. be in hell by yourself. Yeah. But anyway, you can be, but if you got no, somebody you can't. with you. Ain't nobody, it's, ever, no. Unless you're going to go by yourself, you can. If you go to hell by yourself. You ain't going to go to hell by yourself because there's going to be some more people there too. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, technically you can position yourself for a spouse. If yes, that's you what can. You want. That's very good. I like that. Because that, that's the question. How can you position yourself to be found by your spouse? Easy. You can position yourself to be found by your spouse anywhere. And I love the way you, I, I, I just love the way you kind of really you could have you could have emphasized that your spouse right it'll be yours your spouse it will be your, your spouse it spouse. won't be the spouse that god sent right but it's going to be your spouse based on you choosing that spouse right. based on you accepting that person based on you thinking that you can change that person 
Oh, they'll be all right. I'm going to change it. They're going to change once we get married. Yeah, your spouse. Right. You can take the credit for that. That's good. I, I like think that. the question should always be, Yeah. how can God position me to be found by him? By who? God. Our father. Because actually God wants us to come to him. Mm-hmm. He wants to marry you. He wants to be your okay. spouse. How can you position yourself for him is the question. God, what must I do to be in right standing with you? Well, what do I need to do to be in right relationship with you mm-hmm. as my spouse? See, God don't want you to skip him first to go to a man first Mm -mm. or skip him first to go to a woman first for those men out there. Mm -hmm. He wants to be your number one, your uno, one, one. And when our mind isn't focused on that, we leave ourselves open for everything else to attract. Mm -hmm. We attract what we desire. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm learning that, y'all. Whatever you think about the most, whatever you really, really, really desire, whatever you really, really want, whether it's God or not, that's what you will attract. We had someone that actually asked us a question in regards to, you know, they wanted to know if a man was from God or not. This man was becoming her idol and all this and that. Listen, God is not going to send you someone that's going to become your idol. Mm -mm. Why would he send someone to you to tempt you God's not a tempter. To worship. To worship him. I mean, to worship the person and not no, worship, him. Worship God, right. So a lot of these questions are very easy. We just don't want, we just want to kind of analyze things. And, well, maybe, maybe it is God. You know, maybe God is testing me. No. <laughs> no. I think when a person says no. that if they want to position, them, position themselves, how do they position themselves? To be found to by To be spouse. found. That's a fleshly yes. act anyway. That means that you have already been thinking, what can I do to put myself in a position to be noticed? Oh. If I can put myself in a position to be noticed, and what my wife is saying, my beautiful queen is saying, Mm -hmm. is that whatever you're desiring, you're definitely going to attract. So when you do that, you're going to attract someone in the flesh because you are in the flesh. So you're going to attract whatever it is that you are, the, the vibe that you're giving off, that's what you're going to attract. If you're in the flesh, you're operating in your flesh. If your flesh is the one that's basically motivating you and you're giving in to your flesh mm-hmm. by allowing your flesh to control you to do that act of putting yourself in a position to be found and to be noticed by a man, then therefore that flesh is going to attract a man who is thinking the same thing. What can I do to put myself in the position to find the wife who I desire to marry? There she is. And flesh, connect with flesh, is nothing but going to birth flesh. Mm. That's basically what it's going to be. Flesh and flesh is going to birth flesh. Right. So, and you got to understand, when you're walking in the spirit, you will attract the things of the spirit. Yes. You will attract peace. Yeah. Joy, long suffering, all these things are the fruit of the Yeah, satisfied. Exactly. The fruit of the Spirit, y'all. It has nothing to do with things and being materialistic. Mm -hmm. Those are byproducts that God blesses Mm -hmm. us with because He loves us and He just wants to give it to us. Yes. You're not looking for it. We don't don't deserve anything. Yeah. We are are mere men. Yeah. As dumb as we want to be. God created us. Mm-hmm. We technically don't deserve anything. Not at all. All God wants us to do is love and obey mm-hmm. him. And we can't even do that. Mm. Because our mind is so focused on him. What we want. What we want. Right. What, what we don't have. Right. Not what we do have. We, we don't focus on the blessings mm-hmm. that we do have in the present. Because we're trying to get something that may not even be in the spirit. Mm. So if you want to position yourself, sweetheart. And, and, and for a uh, for your spouse, do what you feel you need to do. And you know the blueprint. But if you want to position yourself mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. for God, mm -hmm. for your father right. to be mm -hmm. what you need him to be, mm -hmm. that spouse, that friend, yeah. that mother, that father, uh -huh. that confidant, yes. that, that healer, that deliverer, that rest, whatever you need him to be, uh -huh. that's, you want to position yourself for that. Okay, can we go back to the blueprint? What we always say what the blueprint is. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. <laughs> Wait a minute. Adam did not put himself in the position. He neither, did not. Neither did Eve. Nope. Adam didn't create himself. Neither did Eve. <laughs> That's the blueprint. So you want to know how to put yourself in a position so you can be found. No. Adam did not put himself in a position to be found. And understand too. God well, created him. You... you and don't, he had relationship. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Good gracious. I'm sorry. And he had relationship with his God, just like when he was asleep, and Eve was created out of his rib. She had relationship with God before they were even connected together. Neither one of them knew that what they were being created for. Hmm. Hmm. Now chew on that. Now go ahead. <laughs> Messed up my whole life. I'm sorry. I gotta leave, man. I was out of clothes. I was coming into my clothes. I'm sorry. Listen, you guys. Also, ah! This came to me and I didn't want to forget. <laughs> we don't have to be found because God already knows where we are. That's right. Think of yeah. it like that. <laughs> you don't have to be found. Yes. Because technically you're not lost. God sees you. God sees him. God knows where he is. Mm. God knows where you are. Mm. God knows what he... Come when on. he wants, God is not lost. He, yeah. He's not blind. Y'all better sow a seed to her right he now. He know exactly. Hold on. Y'all better sow a seed to her right now. That right there, don't y'all ever ask how y'all gonna be found. Got dog on. Y'all, where you need to send the money? They need to send the money to you. It's in the dog description box. You so stupid. <laughs> That right there, say it again. Say it again, because I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you correctly. You, you need to say it again. Like I said. Yes. You don't need to be found because you're not lost. Oh, you my know God. Exactly where you are. Sweetheart. So if you feel like you need to be found, does that mean that you lost? Right. Oh, that means that your relationship is not intact where it should be. Your relationship is lost. Oh, my goodness. Because Adam, he was lost. When he was in sin, Adam, where are thou? I don't see you no more. You in sin. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm just saying. When God saw them and they knew where God was, they were in obedience to God. Yes, they were. It wasn't until they were in sin, sin. they started hiding. Hiding. And started doing start things hiding. on their own. Exactly. <laughs> Being disobedient when they ate the apple that God told them not to it eat. It wasn't an apple, baby. It was well, a fruit. A fruit. It was a fruit. Whenever they, whatever God told them to do, mm -hmm. and they decide to do it anyway, it's mm -hmm. called disobedience. I'm yes. saying it was a fruit, a set, right, or whatever right. it is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's what it was. Didn't I tell you then that? Then mm -hmm. they decide to hide themselves. Yes, they did. And he said, where are thou? But let me tell you something. Even then, mm. although God said that, yes. God still knew. He still knew where they were. He still knew where they were. Yes. So even if you want to be lost, yeah, he still know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> so you're always found, mommy. You're always yeah. found. You will always be found. Yeah. God knows where you are. He knows where you are in your heart. Yeah. In your mind. Yeah. In your life. Yeah. So until that gets positioned right, right there you go. Until you there position you yourself in 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 that in that alone, right. knowing God sees me, I don't have to be found. People think they got to go out and do something. Mm -hmm. They got to go out to, and, to be found. Mm -hmm. Put their makeup on. and do, do do what God told you. If God told you to go down to the library and read a book on X, Y, Z. And you do it. Guess what? What if that man is across the way and he's an obedient too in that same library reading mm -hmm. a book about X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. it's a library. It could be a gas station. Whatever God is telling you to do, he mm -hmm. will He will put, let him position you, not you position yourself. Mm -hmm. When you position yourself, you're going to manifest flesh. Yes. When God positions you, you're going to manifest obedience and the spirit and the love of God. And there are always a reward when you operate in obedience. I be sure yeah, hope spiritual to this the helped. <laughs> Seriously. Love you guys. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. 
We know we're going to get some comments on this one. We hope you guys do comment. Anything else you want to share? I just baby? want to share this. Yes. Let's go back to what Jesus said. For whatsoever of man thinketh, so is he. So if you think that you have to put yourself in a position to be found, that's what you're going to become. And that's what you will and attract. And that's what you will attract. And that's what you're going to operate off of. Right. This is what Jesus said. Your Savior, the one who died for you. Whatsoever man think of, so is he. Mm -hmm. So when you're saying that that person has to line up their heart with God. Mm -hmm. Line up with it. The, they line their thought patterns up with right. God. Because really, actually, that's where our a lot of our actions of our flesh comes from. What right. we think. Mm -hmm. And what we, we operate off of what we think. And then you manifest. And then it trickles, right. trickles down to our heart to, to, right. to, to, to start do it. doing it. Right. Okay. And once we do that, then that's basically that's what takes control over us. So when we start thinking that way, we have to start learning how to renew our mind right. back to the original of the basic foundation of what we're really supposed to be doing. Right. God, is this truly what you want me to do? Mm -hmm. You know, It always goes back to that. Is this what you truly want me to do? Do you really want me to put myself into a position to attract a man? And you will immediately hear the answer, no, I do not. That's not me. That's flesh speaking. Right. You know. So I just want to kind of implement that a little bit. That's Thank all. You. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't no big Thank thing. Thank you, guys. Y'all ain't got to give me no <laughs> seat or anything like that. I don't ask for that, you know. So um, hopefully, young lady, beautiful young lady, we have answered your question. We wasn't trying to beat you up at all. We just wanted you to really just grab a hold of um, the way God sees us and our relationship with him it is so imperative that we understand the root and the foundation of what we do has to do with our relationship with him mm -hmm. all right um we can't do anything in and of ourselves we can't do anything without him and again like my husband said it's off the mind we don't do anything before we think about it first mm -hmm. it's a thought first and then it's manifest through doing whatever we have been thinking about doing mm -hmm. all right we love you guys. We thank you for your support. As always, like, share, and subscribe. This is your process. Embrace it, trust it, and love it. Mm -hmm. Be you. And keep it moving. And keep it moving, baby. Peace out. Bye. Peace.